Hello and welcome to Meanwhile in Luda City, the second podcast. We're still the same people, but we'll we'll introduce ourselves. Yeah, and you are you. I'm you. Are you. I'm, I'm I'm me, mm. the main artist. <laughs> I'm Joel. I do uh, business stuff. I'm Matthias. I am the musician and the programmer. I'm Nils. I'm a second graphics guy. Uh, I'm Daniel. I'm lead designer. And the voice of Hype Snake. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Also known as. Mm. Today, today we talk about Card City Nights, or, or hit game from like two years ago or something. Yeah. Actually, mm. one of our biggest hits. Surprisingly. Yeah. I can't believe we, we got away with that, considering how self-indulgent this game is. It's like a giant crossover of games no one no one's played. Yeah, and uh, just uh, started as something very small that not, like yeah, we never actually decided to do the game. <laughs> <laughs> no, it just happened. Yeah, it just sort of happened. So yeah. how, how did it happen? Um, I wanted to play a game just like... Uh, Pokemon trading card game for the Game Boy and there was none today so mm. I decided to make one as a prototype over uh, a weekend over Easter mm. I think a couple of years ago so yeah. so but already in the beginning there was uh, an adventure in the game design. yeah exactly it was supposed to be simulating how it is to actually play a trading card game in real life but right. in a video game but but was this a, a digital prototype? Or because I remember we had this uh, uh, paper card. No, that was from another game. No. Yeah, you no. made several like, card prototypes in yeah. paper. Yeah, we made a bunch. One, one is really cool, called uh, Cornerstones. Yeah, which but I would lo- love to do one day. I think I think another game stole that title. The yeah. name. <laughs> yeah, it did. But it was a good game. Yeah. Um, so those were different games. Those so were different games. Yeah, this was a digital uh, prototype, just uh, basically ripping off uh, the Final Fantasy Tetra Master, right. or what it's called. From Final Fantasy eight or nine. Or yeah, both of them had the same yeah. same thing, uh, different names though. And then um, Heroes of Might and Magic Clash of. Heroes, I think it was called, for the, the Nintendo DS, game. the first DS, yeah, the puzzle game. I really liked that game, so I, I took some some elements from there. And some f- moods, I guess, and some gameplay things from Professor Layton. Mm. Uh, mm. Especially the, the, the talking and dialogue and story adventure part. Those are some really good games to, to steal yeah. stuff from. Yeah. So. <laughs> well, that's smart. Uh, so, Card City Nights is... Uh, a game where you lay down cards and connect them with arrows. I see. I see a lot of people online uh, comparing it to a match three game. Like a lot of people think it. Yeah. Is oh. that. You, you literally match three. But yeah. Uh, but I wouldn't really call it no. a match three game though. No. Yeah, I guess the the Clash of Heroes game is more of a match three, since, since el- and since elements from there are in this game, I get, I can see that mm. it's. It's kind of a match three. And um, the element from the Pokemon uh, card trading game for Game Boy yeah. is that is that everyone, it's an adventure game and the characters in the adventure is, they are playing the, the game. card game. Yeah. Right. And, and, and the so progression very, as well. Uh, you start with just a starter deck and then you get boosters and right. you unlock more cards. Right. You don't have the whole pool at the beginning, at the start. Right. So it's very meta. Yeah. Yeah. It's for people who don't want to go out and play training card games with actual humans. Right. Well, that sounds like us. Yeah. <laughs> Where did we find uh, time to make this game? Um, we had... Uh, uh, so this guess? was after... We had finished It'll Do, I think. Mm-hmm. I was working at uh, on the Wii U version of It'll right. Do. And Anton was free, so... But what about the Magicka we made for... No, not the original Magicka, of course, but... No, the, uh, I the think this was way later. Yeah. I think Magicka was... 
2011, and this mm. was. Yeah, they, yeah, we, we had already fin finished up like everything because I, I remember I jumped on the project because I I had done everything on like it'll do and and magic and, and everything yeah. in brief. So before. so it was sort of a in between projects thing that we just mm. threw in there, just like side cards. Yeah. Um, exactly. And uh, but it grew a little bit. Yeah. In in uh, retrospect, we 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 realized we should probably have priced it higher because we 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 didn't think anyone would like this game because <laughs> because it's so weird. <laughs> the characters uh, are. It, it also became sort of the Ludosity All Stars. Yeah. Kind of thing because we threw like I think every character we could think of that we have yeah. ever made. Within we, Ludosity. We, we kind of ran out of characters to put on the cards, so we had to use even all the enemies from Magical Fisher, a Yam game no one has played. <laughs> <laughs> so plus, a, plus, also cards uh, where we have uh, teams. Like, um, I think there are more than one card with uh, Idle, for example, and there's one yeah, card. There, with there's the, yeah, there's the uh, exactly. alchemy cards with like Fishbun Pile up right, 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 right. and uh, we had to like make some combination cards. cards. Yeah. yeah, one of the original cards was Jenny Cut. If you combine a Cut Strike with a Jenny, mm -hmm. any Jenny, I think, and Jenny Cut is in Italy too. Yeah. So, so. Uh, combining in the sense, of there's like a lab area in the game where you we'll get to that. Uh, yeah. right. We'll go through the game. We'll get there. There's, there's some sort of crafting going on. Yeah, yeah. very basic. <laughs> All right, I, I, I would also mention the soundtrack for Card City Nights, which I think we yeah. really nailed. We really love it. awesome soundtrack. It's very, it's very nice. Uh, it's uh, one of those things uh, that uh, people usually yeah. like co comments on. But, uh, I guess that happened out really of the nice. blue as well. Yeah. The, the soundtrack idea. Yeah. I don't know yeah. where it even started. We, we were talking about it, and I think, I think we sort of at the same time when someone said, "Hip hop and jazz," we were just yes. Yes, let's do it. <laughs> so, <laughs> so weird. Like, yes, jazz and hip hop. That yeah. makes perfect sense for a match three. <laughs> and it kind of does. Worked. <laughs> yeah, 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 it works. It definitely works. But it, it fits, fits the mood with yeah. the, with the city and the, the night, night uh, yeah. and the cards in mm -hmm. the card city night. <laughs> it's kind of a street <laughs> card game, like urban. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and we put out an actual CD. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we, we, we printed like tw them. twenty of them. <laughs> yeah. And they're all here at the whole place. <laughs> no, I have, I have one at home. Yeah, I have one well. on display. Yeah. It's on Spotify too, by the way, yeah. so check it out. It's a good soundtrack. Plug. And we should probably mention that the entire battle part of Cards at Nights is programmed by me, the artist. Yes. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, because you had the most time open in the beginning, so you yeah. just started. How did that come about? Because you did a prototype. I did a prototype in XNA, I think. Oh, yes, yeah. that's right. That's why. But you, so but you were you, you were booked up with uh, the uh, Wii U. Wii U. I think it was the Wii U version, or it right. was the end of Magicka. Huh? Mm. Something. All right. So at the release time of CCN, the, the AI was kind of dumb. Uh, it's a bit better now, I think. And also there was a few bugs, like trash bugs. So that's on me. <laughs> and uh, everyone's afraid to um, tack on features to the game now because yeah, that code is. Uh, Dreadful. <laughs> I, I have seen the code for how the um, for how the text gets onto the cards, <laughs> <laughs> and that's why it won't be localized ever. Yeah, it's. I don't think it's possible to localize at all. No. All right. So we're gonna talk about some areas. Yeah, I I had this plan that we go through the uh, cards at night's game like uh, a developers commentary kind of we'll go through area by area we we'll try to keep it uh, snappy but we should probably show them right now on screen then yeah in the youtube thing we'll make stefan do the yeah. do something cool i'll also play some music in the background for each area this, this is when someone like talks to the camera and points like this is gonna <laughs> go here <laughs> and then they point and it doesn't go there <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna put something entirely different yeah. there. <laughs> Yeah, so you start out, uh, you go by a, 
by boat yeah. to, to an island. Your, your house, your house, go by boat to the island. Yeah, and ah. um, park yeah, in you, the you, parking you made lot. That, uh, yeah, exactly. Thing. Is that a reference to Animal Crossing or something? No, like that? Did I, we, I, okay. I don't play Animal Crossing, so it no. was just the same. Yeah, it, how do you get? Get to an island, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. Well, so, but it is in houseboat. It doesn't. Well, it's not the, that. I, 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 th- so I, I thought it, I thought it as kind of a, like an it'll do thing where your house just oh, crash so, on the island. So, <laughs> so it's it's literally your house that goes on the boat. Yeah, yeah. Okay. The, it, it's silhouetted, so it's it's not uh, clear at all. But uh, that's what I had in mind. So that's why your ha- house is yeah, just kind of drop down in in an alleyway. Yeah. So you're. Near then it's a bit creepy how they left you this uh, welcome gift of course <laughs> or whatever. Did they? No, we'll get yeah. that. Yeah, you start out outside your house, right? For some reason, and there's a. Uh, no, you start inside the house and find your yeah. starter deck, and then right. you, oh, and then, you decide, you can... then you decide to uh, play some cards. So yeah. you go outside. But the first thing you see uh, in the house is uh, this lamp. Yeah, the lamp in quotations that, <laughs> ever, <laughs> that everyone thinks uh, a bong because uh, um, I think in Italy one there's there's a lamp just exactly like it in the in Ethan's house. So I and there was like an a let's play or something that just yeah, that com- I've, com- I've, I've com- seen some uh, uh, some screenshot comments on Steam. Yeah, exactly. So so um, I put that uh, uh, right in in uh, sun, in front. I, I guess it's a bit of a cultural difference, maybe. We think like an old timey lamp in yeah, like a, an old timey like house sw- in the Swedish yeah. oil lamp to, to have in like a, a yeah. cottage or something. But <laughs> yeah, <laughs> every 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 kids these days and their <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So you go outside, and then you meet a dangerous player. The fish pond? Yeah. Uh, disguised as a person. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and his entire deck is just apathetic frogs. So it's the only way to. Um, um, no, I think he can make a combo. I'm not sure, but mm. it is possible no, to lose. You can. Oh, yeah. His his deck isn't all apathetic mm. frogs. That's the tutorial mm. that you play uh, first. This is very poorly researched. Mm. Yes. <laughs> Who made this game? Yeah, yeah, I can't I remember this game at all. Yeah, but it, but it's it's like impossible to lose to him. But and anyone who oh, panics yeah, in you, the first. No, you, you can lose. But yeah, you uh, can, but it, but it's very hard. But it, yeah. some people just panic first thing and try to exit yeah. the. But the good part is that Daniel actually put in some some things that happen if you do lose to him. Yeah. Yeah. For throughout maybe the first quarter of the game, people will comment on whether you lost to the fishbone or not. Mm-hmm. I was gonna make it continue through the entire rest of the game, but um, it was a bit tedious. Yeah. <laughs> but it's the, it's, it's, it's cute. <laughs> are the moral that stuff going on with the, like checking for all those things? Yeah, the there are some small details. Um, whether or not you win, well, this is actually for a later area. But the final boss comments on whether you lost at least once to the next fin- next to final boss. Mm. and um, some other things that will come up when we get to the Mega Mall. Right. Mm. And uh, in the tutorial at the start, there's, there's three cards that you can never obtain. The only three cards. Mm. You can uh, get them by cheating. The tutorial yeah. cards. Yeah, tutorial stick, tutorial bruni, and tutorial something else. I can't remember. And someone actually made a really nice list of all, all of these cards yeah, and put them Steam. online. Uh, mm, great guide. Yeah, kudos to whoever made it. Yeah. And someone made a, a printout, I think. Yeah. Like a, a board game out of it. And then put it up on uh, some board game sharing site. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and also the some of the other first... Oh yeah, the fish pun belongs to an uh, excitable student. Who has a pretty strange name because I thought excitable meant that she's excited, but mm-hmm. it actually means like easily annoyed. I think. I thought it meant easily excited. Yeah, I yeah. thought so too, but I, I'm not sure if it actually means. That. Okay. Well, that's what I thought. Yeah. <laughs> and also our friend the uh, loafer, who is um, the uh, Jenny. Oh yeah, they are. These are all from Italy. Yeah, she's um, 
Excitable student is Jenny Blueberry from Italy, and Loafer is uh, Jenny Bunn from Italy, who is only seen lying on a cliff sleeping. I'm not sure how exactly Excitable student got to be one of the main characters in the game, but uh, I found it funny because her personal personality is like she seems very carefree, but at the same time she's uh, very aware that nobody likes her. Aww. <laughs> And it's kind of like that in Italy One, I guess, because she's she's very happy, but she's accidentally hurting people. That's <laughs> like her thing mm. there. And uh, in this game, in Curtis Knights, uh, Jenny Bunn gets her personality yeah. almost for the uh, for in Italy Two. She's more of a she lives like in a box and yeah, stuff. she she right. lives in a she lives in a walled off room. Um, among uh, like a pile of garbage in a box and asks if you would like some pizza. Yeah, exactly. And uh, in Italy one, she was only like is like asleep at the job, yeah, so it's exactly. kind of it, it kind of uh, follows. Oh, way. so she was fired, so now she lives <laughs> in the trash can. <laughs> yes, she she evolved more into some kind of um, slacker. Yeah, mm-hmm. she was she was always a slacker, but now she's like. Uh, She's she living on coupons mm. and uh, <laughs> she's she's uh, outside of the system. She's yeah. she's an <laughs> enemy. <laughs> she's off the grid. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> well, she says she's between jobs, um, <laughs> but she's so, never done any job in any of her <laughs> games except uh, Card City. So all the characters in Card City Nights um, are variations of characters yeah. from other. It's, it's like an alternate universe, right? But all the cards are directly from. Yeah. Games. it's kind of weird. Yeah. It's really no, weird. no one, no one comments, uh, or do they? Do someone yeah. co- comment on the fact that it's like creepy fan art uh, cards? I think playing? there's just one or maybe two who actually comment on it. Mm. I, I really like uh, little dude. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> he's probably my favorite character. Yeah, he's. I think he just stems from people confusing Ital's gender in Italy. Right. Yeah. That's the, there's a yuki in it, one about her gender that we added after we saw the reaction to the trailer. Um, yeah. Because we didn't have, we didn't really consider Ittel's gender that ambiguous. Mm-hmm. But when we showed our first trailer, people were really confused. Yeah. So we added that yuki to it one. Yeah, not to go on too much of a tangent, but there's a hidden cuts in it one where. Uh, uh, tipsy is shocked to learn that Italy is a girl, and then yeah. there's an, another more hidden one where Italy is shocked to learn that Tipsy is also a girl. Yeah, <laughs> so great because th- they have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> they they have no idea. <laughs> uh, so after whom you go to school? Yes, mm. of course. Uh, for some reason, and that's where that's where Barry and uh, Bun are. Mm-hmm. Well, they are oh, yeah, excitable the student murder. and uh, <laughs> loafer, I guess to call it. It's kind of like the first real, uh, real part of the game where the game mm-hmm. begins proper. Do, do you meet little dude here? Um, uh, yeah, 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 uh, yeah. Uh, exactly. He uh, gives he gives you, you the whole the pl- the whole the setup for the plot. You, you can yeah. grind loafer for boosters. Oh, loafer! Mm. But inside school is the first boss. Yes. Uh, yeah, the, the first f- boss is uh, the first gym leader. I mean the legend. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and that's uh, it is. Uh, she's from Iggy. Yeah, it's actually Mia, who is Iggy's little sister, who is only seen twice in uh, Iggy mm. in in the very beginning. It's really disturbing this boss if you played Iggy. <laughs> <This is, laughs> oh yeah, uh, because she dies actually in the intro of Iggy. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, why are you battling bosses for legendary cards? Um, because there's a, there's a big prize in the uh, casino in town where you need to um, first collect one of each legendary card, uh, who, uh, which were like, they appeared in random boosters, but all of those boosters have been taken. So you need to find the people who have the legendary cards mm. and then go to the casino uh, to battle the card king. Because the, the, this is how I wish you know, magic was, because <laughs> I think in the beginning you actually played for cards, mm. and then they changed that rule, and now you could play for money, I guess, but... Yeah, know. so there should actually be people around the world who you need to find and battle. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I guess the main character in the game is just motivated by greed. In the, in the, in the I, I feel like 
like society is just pushing the protagonist to <laughs> run. Like, everyone is so into this card game that you're, yeah. you're just going along with them. Yeah, excitable student asks at one point uh, whether you're just in it for the money or not. Mm. Uh, it doesn't actually affect the story, but you can answer yes or no. Yeah, but I mean, it's it's no, uh, it's uh, it's not a secret that we're quite uh, Nintendo fanboys. <laughs> and if you look at Nintendo games, Super Mario is all about coins. Uh, Legend of Zelda is all about coins. <laughs> they they <laughs> love coins. <laughs> I don't know, we probably got it from there. And uh, there's another character in the school, it's uh, Haya from, from Healthy Weapon. Mm-hmm. Uh, cool One of sca- the best... Uh, cool skater. Hip skater. Hip One skater. of the best fighting games. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Another game no one played. Yeah. No, well, That's all of the games. The so, few that did play it actually gave it pretty good reviews. Um, I think it, it was an interesting idea. It was really interesting. One of the pe- one of my friends uh, wrote a guide for it on show you can. Mm. So so have a weapon is a fighting game where they fight with fruits as weapons and uh, Haya is a guy who shoots people with a banana. Mm. But here he's a hip skater and he tries to explain the game and stuff. But he's not really that useful because no, it's just the basic, he, he's basic. the first guy that tells you to build a deck with a with an idea. Mm. I yeah. Think. Right. Yeah, he gives some uh, newbie tips. Yeah, but uh, that's only for the uh, the people who actually keep like keep talking to uh, to people. Mm. Uh, um, I notice in Let's Play that uh, and such that uh, some people don't even uh, consider talking to the same guy twice if mm. they if they just have to, uh, something to say. That's right. Uh, there are um, <clears throat> if someone wants to battle with you, they have four things usually very boring that they say. Uh, if you lose once, um, they have four more things to say, which are usually also pretty boring. <clears throat> After you beat them, or if you don't battle at all, they have 16 things to say. With the exception of uh, Green Crystal, who has 128 things to say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so this was a quick and dirty little project that we made <laughs> just over the weekend. <laughs> grew into like four months. I, sp- I spent too long on the writing. Yeah. <laughs> So you you beat the first boss, uh, mm. small boss. She's called. She's Iggy's little sister. Very tragic. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you get the first legendary card from her. Mm. Um, and that's uh, is that a good card? I can't remember. I think it's uh, Flip Hero DX, uh, which is a defensive card. Mm. Uh, but it turned out that so so no then. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but it turned out that o- offense was the best thing. <coughs> In the game, mm. so yeah. <laughs> we we didn't really play test and balance this mm-hmm. game a lot, and uh, well, it's a pretty casual game, so it's no big deal. But you can destroy this game, yeah. With, also, with the right it's, it's single player, so it yeah. doesn't doesn't matter if something mm. is uh, imbalanced. I think a lot of people enjoy destroying this game, like building yeah. a, mm. a game and just wrecking everyone. Yeah, and we put in an achievement for that, I think, or something. We put in... what was it? There's an achievement for achieving very high damage and also doing a 9 card combo. Right, but there, there's also something... oh yeah, we put in a, a new difficulty setting mm. just yeah, recently. Yeah, with a recent update. <laughs> so uh, I- if, you, if you name yourself Hard player instead of card player. Yeah. Uh, you will start with lesser health in battle, and if you name yourself really player, you will start with one health and your opponent <laughs> with ten health in every battle. And apparently, someone uh, beat that like <laughs> two days after they added it. So I guess it wasn't. Yeah. That's fine. <laughs> apparently, Did we think paid that no one sh- would ever. Uh, we really didn't know how that would affect the game. We just right. put it in because we yeah, could. But yeah. Apparently people have really broken the game. If they yeah, yeah, we did the one, this one uh, patch where we nerfed some of the uh, best offensive cards you get near the beginning of the game because mm. they just made everything too easy. Uh, well, we move on. Uh, yeah. After that you unlock the cave and is it just a cave? You have and to go to the cave, right? yeah, um, and the mall. Yeah, somewhere around here in the game, uh, it branches out. Yeah, so yeah, you the mall, the cave, the and the ghost house, this, and the cave. Uh, yeah. Well, I think that's interesting that it's not just a linear story, yeah. but you can go sort of anywhere. 
Yeah. It, it's actually divided into four acts, where each act is consists of two legendary cards, where you can which you can get in any order. There's oh, yeah. always an intermission in between, but due to how the game is laid out, it's it seems a lot more fluid. Mm. So the cave is a bar type of place where they serve health potions. Mm. And the characters are from um, Italy. Uh, well, isn't it from that game jam game? Um, the no, it's not that bar. It's, oh, it's, it's not that kind we'll of get to that. Oh, okay, okay. We'll, mm. get, we'll get to the that best, kind the of part. <laughs> yes. uh, in the cave, uh, you find uh, Stoneface, who's the Titan from Italy One, and uh, Tipsy, of course. Yeah, and the um, the uh, cool. Oh yeah, the oh, boss. Yeah, Ruby. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Ruby. So they're they're all Italy One. Yeah. There's a lot of Italy characters at first here. Um, and in this bar, there's like uh, you do a bunch of Jennis working. Yeah, the, it's a, it's a, like a shady, shady. It it will do one themed cave. Uh, at first, I thought that uh, every every place in the city would be like a different. It will do one uh, the, mm-hmm. uh, like oh. theme. So this was the generic uh, puzzle caves uh, themed bar and uh, mm-hmm. such. But uh, since we have uh, have uh, had so many different. Uh, Games in the in the mix uh, after a while uh, that that uh, idea went. went I didn't know that. that. Yeah. When when did we decide to add more games than just Elden? Like was that the plan for I, the beginning? I can't really remember. I guess it was when we like uh, had um, the cards. Uh, yeah, we needed more cards. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. We couldn't fill more it to do. Uh, yeah, that's like probably it'll do right. cards. Probably. And the jam game cards and stuff mm. came. Last. Yeah. Yeah. Be- because the Itadu card, the first cards, uh, the Itadu cards, they're straight from Itadu one. And they're the cards you collect in Itadu one. Right. We, yeah, just, right. we just put them straight in. Oh, I really wanted to do something with that. I really wanted to mm. connect those two yeah. games. <laughs> and we were talking about it technically for um, a while. Yeah. Yeah. It would, didn't really work out. I'm sad to say. Um, I think this would be a good uh, time also to mention the names of the Able Do characters <laughs> that are basically all of them are punks. I don't know, if, like you mentioned yeah. Titan, and Titan is he's a big guy, so he's obviously Titan, but he's Titan up the graphic, <laughs> yes. which is just <laughs> terrible. And <laughs> the Jennies, <laughs> like, why are they called Jennies? Uh, and it's that's because, because they're Jenny Rick. Monster. Generic enemies, yeah. yeah. Monster. Monsters. Monster. <laughs> it comes from the uh, Italo prototype that me and mm-hmm. Joel made in school, actually. Yeah. Tighten up the graphics and generic monsters. Mm-hmm. They were different suits, or different hats, rather. Also known as Italo Zero. <laughs> <laughs> right. Which is actually available in your yeah. scrap pack, I think. Yeah, it's in my homepage. Terrible names. We're, yeah. we're getting a little bit better naming <laughs> games and characters, yeah. but... Card City uh, Knights has the best slow. name. Yeah, Card City e- Knights is good. Everyone in Card City Knights is named like uh, what they are, sort yeah. of. They're mm-hmm. like the, the hip skater, the small boss. Well, I, I also, I think I mentioned this, but I also like in Psycard how the friend is just called friend. <laughs> yeah. It's genius. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so uh, after yeah. the cave. Yeah, first in the cave, you, you meet Stoneface, who's like a gentleman version of Titan. Mm-hmm. Plays a very defensive deck and he's kind of boring. Yeah, the thing is that he's a Titan, but he hasn't got wings glued onto him. That's why he's so calm. Oh, oh. Ah. Because he's they're terrified of heights, but he's he's not yeah. forced to fly. Actually, yeah. um, there's a help screen in Cards of Nights, which n- no one ever looks at, where you can find descriptions of all the locations. I, I forget that that exists. All and, the time. and characters. And yeah. Titan's uh, description is identical to Italo, except that no one has typed wings on him. <laughs> so it's actually calm and philosophical. Mm. And if you buy the soundtrack CD, he actually will review the CD mm. <laughs> in the pamphlet that comes oh. with, the, with the album. Wow. Nice. Uh, and Tipsy is here, of course, one of the best characters. She has a lampshade and uh, like a tie. Mm-hmm. She looks like some kind of, uh, like she just got off work and got like how they do in Japan where they just put yeah, on like a, a tie on the yeah. head or whatever. Uh, what's she called here? Magical Fox. Magical yes. Fox. Mm, yes. 
Her her deck is just cards that rotate like right. each other. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And, and when you beat her, she says uh, one of the best things is like, "Oh, I thought the other board was mine." <laughs> Yeah, pe- people are, are always like really confused when they start. They can, mm. first they get <laughs> freaked out, and then they go like, "Okay, that was just simple." <laughs> this game has some amazing lines written by Daniel, and mm. I think we should, uh, when we get to the ones we really like, we should uh, cite them because mm. I I really enjoy when Tipsy says. Uh, um, why do I keep wanting potion or something like that? Are these peanuts lowering my health points? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I can't remember it properly, but it's, it's one. Uh, there are also, when it comes to references in uh, games, I, um, I try to keep them pretty low in Cards Nights, except for references to our own stuff. Uh, the first, I think the first one is when uh, Tipsy uh, uses a Lampshade Tiara attack. Oh, so Which is a, like a Sailor Moon. It's a Sailor Moon thing. Oh, okay. Um, to uh, knock out uh, the red crystal. Mm. Yeah. Tipsy is amazing in this game. Uh, and then you get to the boss, who's the Ruby. Ru- mm. Ru- uh, Ruby? The red Ruby. Yeah, yeah. The first delinquent. Yeah, the delinquent. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah. The first it's really like a hard. greaser guy. Yeah. Kind of. mm-hmm. First really hard boss uh, f- uh, for people to face. Yeah. Uh. One thing I always react to when I watch Let's Plays of this is that uh, the others accuse him of cheating, but the only character who actually cheats in this game is uh, the last boss and uh, Two-Faced Boy. Mm. Uh, yeah, he top decks. He, he, he never he, sorts his deck. Yeah, he, ne- he has a set order to his deck and he never shuffles it. I don't <laughs> know if anyone's noticed that. but uh, I don't think so. That's why <laughs> every every match against him is he, you put down a card and he puts down the uh, house of, with a Brickopolis and mm. he just kills your card <laughs> every time. Yeah, but, so Ruby doesn't actually cheat. They just uh, accuse him of it, I guess. Uh, uh, yeah, but also he, us- reasons. he uses an offensive deck, which is... Yeah. Which is the best strategy in the game. He's mm. the first hurdle in this game that people mm. may uh, get stuck at. Mm. Um, but he's not that hard. No. So is, is offense still the best strategy against Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, offense so. or possibly a milling deck against op- opponents. Some opponents are sturdier against yeah, offense. Some, some are very resistant to offense. You have to mill them to death. Mostly characters who were made after we realized <laughs> how good it was. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, you, so beat him, you get the second legendary card, which is... I don't know. I think uh, it's Princess something. Is it, it? Oh, is it is Hyper good? Princess Peach DX? That's a pretty that's good an card. Er, that's an early one because... No, it's Bunny King. Bunny Bong. Oh. King Bunny. Another super defensive card? Yeah, I think that's the second card. Mm-hmm. I guess, mm. yeah. And, and then you you go out, and now I think your path is a bit more open. Uh, you have to go through an intermission in Mega Mall to beat uh, li- oh, a little right. dude to unlock the next two areas. Mm. Right. We haven't uh, talked about uh, Mega Mall. You can there's uh, li- like a store for both uh, the boards, uh, just background boards yeah, and so cards. So in Mega Mall, there's uh, Bob from Bob Came in Pieces, oh, yeah. or one of our first games. <laughs> we'll talk about that sometime. <laughs> and, um, I think uh, most, I think more people own that game than any of our other games. They just haven't played. No, that's not true. Uh, I just, I just thought uh, it'll do more. I just thought that it came in bundles. Right. Well, Bob sold 60,000, so mm. it'll do. So maybe 150. Because it'll do was also in a bunch of bundles. Yeah. Yes. yeah. We'll discuss Bob in an in entirety in another episode. <laughs> but Bob, Bob was a game that was made sort of by Ludosity 1.0. Yeah. And this, uh, I, I, I was, was there for like half the time, like mm. you working for free because I had nothing to do. Like, and why did you, you do that? <laughs> I had nothing to do. <laughs> <laughs> and, and did you work on it a little bit? No, no, I, I didn't. Um, you were at that other company. I, jo- I, I joined, I joined uh, to make a flash port of Garden of Carnage. No, Don, Don, <laughs> Daniel Kaplan <laughs> convinced me to. Um, to join the company after that, ah, yeah. um, which was very easy. Yeah, he, he kind of like, 
wasn't it Hilary Sinaim here at Little City too? He like put everyone together mm-hmm. and then he yeah. left for yeah. Mojang. <laughs> yeah, then, it, then he left for Mojang. He well, it, it, it's, <laughs> it's funny because the two the two guys that really started the first uh, that first team that eventually became Ludosity was um, Arcade, who I think is in Poland now. Mm-hmm. He's working for... Uh, Oh, is it Epic? No. Yeah, oh. uh, the Epic Poland, whatever they're oh. called. People can fly or something. Yeah. And um, Jesper. Hmm. And so uh, one of them left, and since I'm a designer and the guy who left was a designer, they thought we need two designers. Hmm. Uh, so they approached me, and then the other guy also left. So I just had suddenly a team and then I thought well I need a second designer so I brought in Bjorn <laughs> <laughs> um, but then and we were like 13 people at one point then. Mm. and then we were down to I think we were three at one point maybe four yeah when I got here after Bob when I had yeah. returned uh, you were just like three or four people I think uh, yeah I think I think we were three and then you joined yeah um, and that was sort of the start of the Ludosity. That That's when we be. made Itildo. Yeah. yeah. But Itildo took forever. It took forever, but we mm. also paused it like th- yeah. two or three times. Mm. Like we made every, all the graphics from scratch uh, several times. Yeah. Uh, which was good, by the way, because... Uh, yeah. Let's get back to the yeah. Mega Mall. Back to yeah. Mega Mall. <laughs> uh, Bob is there and he's, he sells cards. Mm. Uh, cards you've already found. Mm, exactly. So you can you can have, have doubles of your. Yeah. Yeah. This was a mechanic just to lower grinding. So you only have to find each card once, and then if you want a full set in your deck, you can buy them from Bob. This is the only place where you need money, and uh, you can find money all over the place in Sesin <laughs> by mm. just clicking things. Yeah, that's super fun. Yeah, and a lot of people actually do that even in the first scene. They do yeah. click around. Uh, mm. them yeah, that's interesting. Actually. I think yeah, it's they're because they're wondering if something is interactable. Yeah, they just click on things. Because then, it, it looks like an adventure game or something yeah. when you have that uh, full screen of stuff. Yeah. So they they try it out. And so this was all Matthias' idea, I think. Yeah, it's straight copied from uh, Professor Layton. Mm. So, yeah. but it was a good, yeah, a good copy. Yeah, a good steal. We should do, we should design like that more often. Mm. <laughs> yeah, um, we're still, and, and we're there's still then there's the only other reason to spend money the expensive board yeah. that we just put into. I, I love that that you can have different <laughs> boards. No, I get the fish pan funnies immediately. <laughs> but, but, but the the the, the f- expensive board is like a, ha- a couple of hundred coins, mm. and it's just yeah. there to when you when you have your deck made. <laughs> Just but to spend money. The fish pan fun is, is the best. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Made by Nils, he made all the boards. Uh, yeah. yes. Maybe yeah. not the, the first board. The no, main that's, board, that's uh, yours. But, uh, but, but all, all the good ones. I think so. actually I think he came up with the idea to have different boards too. All the boards actually have descriptions, but you can't read them in game because that was a detail that was never uh, actually implemented. Mm. Mm. But they're not very interesting. Okay. <laughs> but uh, speaking of uh, funnies, you, you made. Uh, you made a bunch of comics. All oh, right, so, uh, well, a bunch. Of, I think I think there's two or three. I think we have posted like one. Mm. <laughs> like the do ones, you mean? Yeah, exactly. The those. Mm. We should do more comics. We should do <laughs> like a whole comic book. <laughs> and release. Oh, well. uh, and also in Mega Mall, there's uh, one of the best NPCs, yeah. the Green Crystal. <laughs> yeah, she's a gossip lady. Yeah. Mm. She's great. She has there was so much to say. There was yeah. She has something to say about every single character and location in the game. Yeah. And um, at least one let's player went for everything. Yeah. And yeah, I think it was Senpai. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's uh, Shylag. Shylag. Oh yeah. He's a very metho- methodical. Me- me- methodical. Uh, methodical. Yeah. Mythological. He's <laughs> <laughs> a mythological <laughs> beast on the internet. <laughs> yeah. He's great. Check him out. The, yeah. And. Um, uh, after after latest Valentine's patch, um, actually one of the things she says depends on uh, how you did in the um, in the extra hidden um, quest that was mm-hmm. added in the, the Princess <laughs> Remedy mm-hmm. side quest. Yeah, but it's nothing important. We'll get to Wait, it. Wait, is that something I've missed? 
uh, in yeah. the latest patch you know, there's two characters from oh, we'll Princess get, Remedy I think we'll get to that when we get to oh, the big yeah. chest we'll get there. but anyway um, sometimes she also falls asleep and gossips about herself when you find out yeah. that she has no friends she talks to her groceries she wears a wig and uh, it's like a sad character <laughs> yeah What's wrong with wearing a wig? Oh, no, no, I mean the. <laughs> She's a crystal, so she. Yeah. I mean, crystals don't have any hair. I mean, I mean. Also, the delinquent is also that's just a wig. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was. I had that prototype where you were like uh, a crystal in like a high school setting, and you you can put on wigs and clothes <laughs> just to fit in. Oh, let's get back to the Megamon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this uh, and you you face a little dude again. Mm. And no, for the first time. Oh right, you yeah. only met him before, but now we fight him. So he's like the rival in uh, the Pokemon games, you meet him a couple of times. Yeah. And he's um, pretty determined to become the best. Matthias designed his decks as if they were your own decks, right? Can yeah, you? right. Yeah, they, they are very good decks. So these are also the, the like second and third and fifth hurdle of the game, yeah. is beating yeah. him. Because he gets better and better. But again, this was before and we actually like know what the balance of the game was so you yeah. can still win with a heavy offense deck against him hmm. but he's, he has a balanced good deck so, so yeah. that's the intermission that opens up the next couple of areas yeah uh, now you have two choices hmm. uh, is the ghost house i just want to yeah. note that the game begins in your house uh, you go to the school where the nerds uh, stay uh, late and play <laughs> card games and then you go to the bar where the adults play uh, mm. this is very magic uh, the gathering <laughs> groups of people that play and then you go to the mall and buy cards which yeah. is in universe like a normal uh, in real life model after real life but now the game starts jumping down the rabbit hole and, yeah. and just now it gets going weird. yeah now it gets weird <laughs> so yeah the two areas are uh, the ghost house and uh, the turnip corp uh, so oh, actually uh, there are two paths you can go to a ghost house there's a legend there or you go to the turnip corp and get a clue that you need to go to the hunk bump bar ah. which, which is that kind of bar but, but first uh, the ghost house because that's yeah. the actual third boss I guess yeah I, guess, I suppose uh, it's it's a rather small area you go into the ghost house it's spooky there's yeah. a bunch of creepy paintings like a tall <laughs> tipsy or <laughs> yeah and there's some <laughs> there's, uh, yeah, a lot of uh, like references to old paintings that yeah. kind of get like lost the in the tr translation since the one with the demon who sits on the lady but it's uh, it's like it's a do themed yeah. no I think that's actually the cheese murder dun, dun, dun. the cheese murder yes oh my god anyway is, is that an uh, original character for Carson Wentz no, no. There, there's a cheese murderer statue in the Sh Should we explain one? the cheese murderer? No, no, no we, we should not <laughs> explain the cheese murderer. And it, uh, it's something that exists. Anyway, uh, so you just fight uh, the cheat, um, uh, yeah. the hovering cheat. <laughs> no, <laughs> not the cheat. cheat. <laughs> no, not, not the cheat. Uh, it's a hovering cheat, a ghost. Um, she. Uh, she's out of breath from whistling practice. I that, think she, she's the one of the cutest characters in this <laughs> game, her dialogues. And also, I like that one uh, where she says uh, her uh, granddaughter or something uh, smells like lemon, looks like lemon, maybe is a lemon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. And references the final boss of the game. Mm. And then you meet the, um, uh, the icy ghost, the cold ghost. Mm. Oh, right. I don't remember where he's He's not very memorable. Uh, both of these are uh, enemies from Little Doom. And then you meet the uh, the puppet. Also from Little Doom. It's yeah, very yes. Little Doom heavy at the start of the game. Yeah, there was, this was uh, while well, we still had some characters to use. Oh yeah, the uh, the straw man. Yeah. yeah, the straw man is um, the yeah. evil puppet. Yeah, evil puppet. He's pretty obviously supposed to be the old man in uh, Zelda mm. One. Yeah, he's dressed the same, except that while I was drawing him for Little Doom One. I added a couple of stitches to his beard and then realized maybe in, in it do zero. No, in it, no, no, in our first it I added some stitches to his beard and figured that maybe he should be a straw man instead. Mm -hmm. So it won't be a complete rip off. So they were actual men in uh, the prototype. Yeah. Yes, so. they were. The prototype actually ripped a couple of sprites from Sony oh. because it didn't matter. Yeah. Uh, 
mean, he's, he's really mean. Mm. Yeah, he's really evil, but he can't leave the house, so it doesn't matter. So we just beat him and get his legendary, and he soaks while burning in a corner. And what's his legendary card? I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> and you get we flip, didn't flip flip zero pretty, pretty early, so maybe something like mm. that. It's, pro uh, it's probably one of the least good, uh, lesser mm. good mm. Card. I can't remember. But I think the entire haunted house is the least memorable yeah. location because I don't even remember what happens there yeah. like the story wise the, the background no is really cool I think <laughs> yeah. but other yes. than that uh, the characters are kind of and the song is <laughs> the only song that's not jazz right? oh. mm -hmm. it's just a jazz beat the drums but mm -hmm. the music is just spooky and nonsense so yeah. it's not actually cool. a jazz tune after you beat um, the evil puppet you, there's also this weird uh, weird ghost that appears, oh, right. the uh, lemon looking ghost. Oh, mm -hmm. It's the first uh, mm. like uh, the first encounter with the, with the real store, real uh, meat of the story. Uh, she's holding like a uh, flashlight under her head and I think yeah. she may have vampire teeth or something. Yeah. <laughs> she's try, <laughs> lady trying, disguise, to look, uh, trying to look like a ghost very badly. Yeah. Mm. There's also this, uh, if you read all of the dialogue, there's also like a tragic love story between the sheet and the uh, pirate <laughs> because uh, the pirate went on a cruise uh, like a really long time ago and died uh, <laughs> or something like that that's the kind of little details that make was, the game great yeah, it was actually a lot of fun to write the, the characters because um, you just come up with something stupid and then run with it mm. yeah there were no like we didn't really need to stick to a theme. No, just do whatever. Yeah. I mean, they're, the characters are from all over the place. So Sometimes I had an idea for something that would be uh, charming or uh, interesting or stupid, and that would be become a character. Mm. Uh, at, at this point, uh, have you unlocked the casino? Yes, I think you have. But I want to go to Turnip Court. Oh, let's go there. Oh, but... Uh, <laughs> I, I figured we'd end this after the fourth boss and pick up next episode. But I just want to mention because uh, at Turnip Core, isn't isn't that yeah, we can also, go to also the first ever, like the first ever where you see business casual man? No, not, not yet. Not yet. Not, not until yet. next episode because uh, you you visit Turnip Core twice. Ah, okay. And this is just really like busy. a small visit. So, so let's go casino first and then go the whole path to the bar. The, hmm. Yes. Uh, so you go to the casino, which is called the Big Chest Casino, because it's shaped like a chest. That's yes, the only a reason. treasure chest. Yeah. I think uh, the name was actually because around this time, Dark Souls One was probably released, yeah. and there was all these marks on the ground, like uh, amazing chest amazing ahead. chest ahead, yeah. and that kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> so I think we just joked about, yeah, yeah. about because, uh, uh, yeah, it. Because it's like. Uh, it do has a lot of chests uh, yeah. with coins in them and casino coins and that kind of thing. I think so, it works. Yeah. So you go in there and uh, you meet uh, the bouncer. Yeah. <laughs> and the uh, the uh, impatient dealer. Yeah. Uh, and also the new Princess Remedy character. This uh -huh. is where the Princess Remedy quests start here and uh, the other area. Yeah, so the impatient dealer is uh, is a sore loser who plays cards online, but he suspects that everyone else is cheating. Mm. You can battle him for some money, but not any booster packs. And then there's the uh, uh, bouncer who uh, you're supposed to talk to to get to the card king, but he just uh, he shoots you away because you don't have the eight legendary cards yet. There's a built-in some for some vague foreshadowing about the the owner of the big chest casino. That's the the uh, card king. Yeah. Uh, so I put in some of uh, some of Ethan's uh, oh, stuff in right. in the casino. Yeah, like the big swordfish. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the yeah. One, uh, there's some some of his uh, his stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Nils made all these backgrounds with so much detail, there's so much to find. Uh, there's someone stealing a bunch of money in the background. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even is remember that. that. <laughs> <laughs> the bouncer, by the way, is modeled after Fish Bungie, the hidden yeah. boss. In, uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But in a suit. You know. yeah. Yeah. And an yeah. uh, earpiece, I think. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's intimidating. He's Wait, is Fish Bunny from Ito Do One originally or from Space Hunk? He is from uh, Space Hunk yeah, originally. Exactly. Yeah. He he. Wait, what? So yeah, we exactly. made that in between. 
Maybe. We, we made it during it. Uh, it it's oh, a good right, thing. Right. Um, no, wait, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm not sure anymore. Yeah, no, yeah, we made that uh, in the middle of um, in, in, Micah. Yeah, exactly. Micah. Okay. So in, yeah, in, the, in yeah. the. So in he's the from it. We, we, we got told off by Paradox yeah, that that's we, went, I remember. we went on a game jam <laughs> during Crunch for Magic. Yeah. Uh, yeah. uh, that's the iPhone magic and not the real magic. <laughs> 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 I don't want to make people confused. <laughs> it's so it's really actually uh, it scores better on Metacritic than uh, <laughs> other magic games. So. <clears throat> we'll make one of these episodes about uh, the mobile magic, yeah, because yeah. it's 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 kind of ludosity ish for yeah, the it's, magic. A, it's weird it's enough for an episode. But anyway, the. Uh, Ultra Fish Punjin is my favorite Ito character just because uh, I drew him. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, the sprite. And I, fi- and I figured uh, he's gonna. We- because we had joked about having a muscular fish bun. And uh, so I tried drawing him and uh, figured uh, he's not muscular enough. <laughs> I need to make him beefier. And then just kept. He, he kept getting beefier and beefier until when the players first see him in Ito Luan. <laughs> They, they have some choice words. Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised people uh, actually accept that name, Fishbun, for that platypus looking thing. Oh, yeah, it's actually a wordplay because in Sweden there's a kind of food called fiskbullar, which is like meatballs but with fish and um, mashed fish meat instead. Yeah, it's and, horrible. Uh, <laughs> no, I love them. Yeah, they're they're okay, but they're liter- like bulle means uh, bun, like a right. cinnamon roll kind of bun. Mm. Mm. So that's mm. why that's the obsession with buns. It's it's because of a dumb pun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a good pun. Yeah, and also everyone hates Ultra Fish Punin because he's so unfair. Because he's a um, he's an action boss in a puzzle game, and yeah. it doesn't really work. <laughs> Yeah, we, we were kind of puzzles for putting him in there. Yeah, but I actually <laughs> like that he's a complete monster who destroys the planet. <laughs> because yeah. it suits him. Yeah, it's I mean, good. So you go into the Master Cave, which have the most horrible puzzles. Mm. Twelve of them, I think. One harder than the next. And then you, mm. when you're finally done with the last one, which is impossible, <laughs> you're met with an action boss. Mm. That is even more... Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah he's ridiculous. But um, anyway, yeah, uh, the last character in this area is added in uh, the most recent patch. And Ro- it's, it's a rock enthusiast. Yeah, uh, mm. she's Camilla from uh, uh, Princess Remedy in a World of Hurt. Mm. Uh, the Valentine patch added two characters, and she's one of them. And mm-hmm. she's very difficult at this point in the game. <laughs> yeah, uh, she's one of the anti-offensive uh, characters. Mm. Like she has a deck that's. I can't remember. I think she's invulnerable to attacks often, her mm. cards or something. And uh, her main purpose is dropping the new Remedy booster, which mm. gives some new Remedy cards. Yeah. Uh, in the in Prince of Remedy, this is the girl who is in a completely grey house full of rocks, and she says, I am a rock, I am a rock. And you, yeah. you heal her, and she's not a rock anymore. <laughs> what, what kind and of that's the character we chose for <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> the <Yeah>. most <laughs> prominent character. <laughs> Really. Of course. Yeah. But so, actually, but I actually like how she turned out in Cards is Nights oh, because she's one of the best characters in Cards is Nights. She's like uh, uh, she was really a, touching, like moving character. She was a lot of fun to write. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so what, what kind of games have we released since Card City Nights? Is it just Princess Remedy? And Side, Side Card. Uh, Moody. 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 Yeah. Did we put in Moody? In, yes. uh, in a patch. Uh, Mur- Muri has been uh, was in the original. Yeah, I think they were. Yes. We were already planning to make. Yeah, exactly. Muri, it's the so Ma- the Mars. Uh, ah, okay. Uh, so all the cards yeah. were um, made. The Muri cards were made after Muri was completed. Hmm. But it wasn't released yet. Or I don't remember. Uh, but um, we we have no. The cards are. Uh, no clue. The enemies in Muri have names, but they're not known. Unt- until you actually get their cards in Cards of the Nights. They all have completely normal names like John and Bob, <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> these killer robots. But there's only one NPC from Muri and she wasn't added until the yeah, patch. But we haven't gotten there yet no, in the story. No. So, uh, anyway. So, Rock Enthusiast, you talk to her and uh, if you beat her, you start the yeah. Princess Remedy side quest. Yeah, you don't, you don't know it at a time, but if you beat her, uh, or 
another character that's coming up. Uh, a small side quest begins. Um, in um, Rock Enthusiast is a childhood friend of the player character whom they don't remember because obviously the player has never seen her before. <laughs> It's just it's very sissy and uh, mm-hmm. like Orson nice like that the other characters just drag you along their mm. plot kind of and you don't even mm. you don't even say anything yeah mm. you just like oh. and she she comments on that that's a good line she says like oh so you're like the kind of person who just stands around and listens while other talk right mm-hmm. <laughs> like Link. Mm, yeah, so the deal with her is that uh, she used to be very shy as a kid, but when she started uh, collecting rocks and getting a hobby, uh, she opened up. But the, the problem is that all she ever talks about is rocks. <laughs> ever. ever. Sounds like most people I know around here. Mm. Yeah, I mean, the, she's a very she's one of many characters in Cards and Nights who is sort of affectionate, um, like, like an affectionate look at yourself or people you know. Mm. Like, all I, all I know is, is video games. <laughs> but, but she also says that people respect her more now that she holds a bag of rocks around. <laughs> okay. Uh, so after that you go to the Turnip Corp, um, where you can um, synthesize cards into new cards. You yeah. can combine them with alchemy. Um, it's the intern who does that, yeah. which is uh, Flop Flop from yes. uh, Italy 1, mm. a minor character <laughs> enemy. That's the turnip enemy that flies around like a helicopter. Yeah, mm-hmm. he has no personality or anything. Mm. And here he's just uh, uh, an intern who's treated mm. He's an exactly. enthusiastic character, that's mm. his deal. Yeah. He's, he's yeah. happy to be <laughs> there, right. if, even though he's running to the ground with yeah. like, menial <laughs> tasks. He doesn't yet get paid or anything, but it's okay, he's, a, he's an intern. Uh, in the turnip group, I love those turnips in the background who looks uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, dire. <laughs> They've fallen into harsh times, I guess. Even though, even though card cards is the only thing they do, so they must be yeah. like spending all their money on fast cards and coke or something. <laughs> oh yeah, they are, the Turnip Corp created the card game. And this is just the first visit. You return to Turnip mm. Corp later. Mm. So here you get a, um, you beat a. Um, the regular turnip. Uh, yeah, and uh, you get told about the Hunkbump bar, which he frequents, where uh, a legendary might be found. And you, then you go there. Then you go there to the Hunkbump bar. This area, the, um, the turnip core, turnip core is uh, one of the first you could notice the ambient sounds really well because this is the <laughs> first one with yeah. really, really good ambient sounds made by Jo Fredrik Frud. There's yeah. a lot of amazing like ambient tracks in. Yeah. Yeah, I think he recorded himself talking nonsense yeah. with his friends, we, we did, and we, we just used that. As we just, if you know Swedish, uh, lower the music and just listen to mm-hmm. these tracks. We just sent him uh, all the backgrounds, and he just made them on the, uh, on the like like what he interpreted mm-hmm. them as. Yeah, yeah. fantastic. It's the same guy that made the sound effects from Little Day One. Yes. It's really good. So you go to Hank Bump Bar. At first you're outside the bar, yeah. at, at the docks. Yeah. And there you meet the uh, bouncer who is the gate from Italy, who is just uh, four people with fake mustaches. Like four poles coming out of the ground. Mm. The, it's a door in Italy. Oh well, yeah, they're the ones who make the joke if you talk to them enough about... Uh, they say that the next uh, gym leader, I mean card holder, is in here <laughs> and they get a phone call from a Japanese businessman. <laughs> Uh, here you also meet a multifarious mammal who was who is the seal of quantity. Yeah, the who, second Princess Remedy character. The actually uh, well-known Princess Remedy character, or rather the most interesting. Yeah, uh, in the in Princess Remedy he says, "I have all sorts of things wrong with me," and he literally <laughs> does. Yes, everything, and then you heal him, and he says, "I'm perfect." Yeah. <laughs> and if you marry him, he says he says he decrees everything. <laughs> so he's all about. Everything, yeah. quantities of things. Yep. He's all about everything. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> now here's the interesting thing is that if you beat him um, and um, the rock enthusiast in any order, uh, it actually turns out a bit different depending on the order. You get this uh, side quest where um, uh, the thing is that Multifarious Mammal just washed ashore on the pier and he, ne- he needs to capture the hearts of everyone in town. So he wants to go on a date with a player character. Mm. Uh, but uh, so does Rock Enthusiast. 
and uh, if you beat the multiverse member last, she just turns up out of nowhere and says that uh, a childhood friend uh, date is a lot more romantic than someone who has to washed up on the pier. <laughs> <laughs> and it's true. Yeah, and they argue, and then you get to choose one of them, and there's no going back on this. So you choose either one of them or neither. And depending on which one you pick, you get to go on a date with them inside your house later. Oh, so and it's a little bonus thing we added. Yeah, if you go on a date with Mutafreya's mammal, he asks you a bunch of questions. Uh, uh, mostly consisting of like, would you do all of these things or do you like all of these things? And they also, <laughs> the correct answer is always yes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, then he grades uh, how well you are, how compatible you are, depending on how many times you ask yes. There are, <laughs> there are five different scales. So if you really want to see all the dialogue, there's a lot of work to do. <laughs> a lot of save file copying. <laughs> yeah, because you're, you only have one save in terms yeah. of mm. But uh, I like mm. the. Um, the date with uh, Rock Enthusiast because it quickly turns into a pretty awkward date because all she ever talks about is rocks <laughs> <laughs> and she uh, catches herself and uh, uh, realizes that it's becoming awkward but then it then the entire scene then she asks a bunch of questions and it sort of becomes heartwarming instead mm. yeah it's a really good addition to Courtship mm. Nights and their um, their idle talk also changes depending on what you do here so uh, are we just gonna keep adding <laughs> stuff to card city nights forever? Like a side card uh, edition, yeah, side card. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The thing is that there are, I'm running out of places to add characters because the scripting yeah. is kind of intricate. So it's difficult to find places to add new characters without... The, the uh, whole game is pretty sloppily built and mm. it's hard to add things. Maybe we should make, I don't know, a new, <laughs> new one. Mm. Maybe mm. better coded and like... Yeah, maybe like... Maybe like mm. a new mechanic. Maybe in space. <laughs> in space? <laughs> oh, it's, what? it's always night in space. <laughs> <laughs> right. So you go into the Hank Pump Bar and uh, here we uh, meet the volcano. From me to do one. I think mm. we should first mention the first thing you see when you enter the Hank Pump Bar is oh. that if you haven't played Space Hank, you're wondering what where you are right now. <laughs> <laughs> because Space Hank was a game jam game we made where uh, eight hunks in space uh, strapped to uh, their um, spaceships go around whacking each other with baseball bats mm. in yeah. order to destroy the other spaceship. Yeah, yeah. We have a, a strong uh, mustache theme running through. Oh, yeah, this. there's yeah. kind of a like a strong man, circus strongman, and uh, it's literally a character called strongman who yeah. is a circus strongman. <laughs> yeah, and uh, a He's bunch of hunk, a way. bunch of caricatures, I guess, mm. of different personalities. We, we had yes, we had very recently played the uh, Shuaniki fighting game for oh, yes. yeah, Super right. Famicom, mm-hmm. and that's why. And we made it during the, uh, the Mojam. Mojam, right? Mm. Yeah, and F- Ultra Fish Pandini is also in this game, uh, and. Yeah. There's yeah. also in uh, Space Hunk. Um, there's if you choose a random character, there's there's a char- character that I forgot existed. It's McCluck. Uh, if you choose yeah. a random character, there's a one in twenty chance that you get McCluck, who doesn't have a portrait, but it's a Scottish man in a chicken costume holding holding a sword from the wrong end. <laughs> <laughs> and he does have a card in card. Yeah, yes. he does. That's why his card says that he's so obscure, he might not even exist. And his card is really good, I think, yes. right? It has uh, all the arrows. Yeah, and he's a double neutral. Yeah. So anyway, you battle the volcano from uh, Italy, and there's also Mama and Son, mm-hmm. uh, oh. the cleanup crew. Oh, I forgot ah. about that. That's a very good game. <laughs> Which one of them? Because we made that game like four times now. Yeah. Well, I, li- I like the one on XNA or like on mm. Xbox, where you're actually two players. I it prefer the 3DS one because I like to play single player, I guess. Right. And uh, I like the mechanic that he's both characters. Mm. So um, it's a game jam game that uh, started out as... Uh, yeah, it's a two-player game where one character goes around shooting things, uh, that's really, really shooter, and uh, his mother goes around cleaning up after him, mm. and you have to synchronize pretty well because uh, she provides additional ammo for him. And uh, it's, it's a very intricate dynamic between mm. them, like everything yeah. is tied together really well. In the 3DS version, you only play as really, but he can also uh, clean the walls and clean mm. up after himself. I think there were many constraints that didn't 
we didn't have the time we, to we're do. We're going it, to this uh, in the 3DS episode. I don't yeah. think I think most people don't even yeah. know these games you, exist. You can cut these from the and half, the podcast. It's exactly a half story. of the 3DS we game 3DS games we made should be forgotten. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Yes. So then you meet Mark, um, who is uh, he's a hunk. Yeah, yeah, the main character from Space Hunk. Yes, yes. yes. like the poster from, boy. From, from, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's yes. at the title screen. Yeah. yeah. He's uh, when I drew him for the for Space Hank, I thought I thought of like a combination between uh, Magnum Magnum mm. PI and mm, uh, yeah. Fabio, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. and he he has this uh, purple speedos and yeah. a uh, baseball bat. Yeah, an alu- aluminum baseball bat. Yeah, yeah, he's like the ultimate American man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and in uh, Cards Nights, he uh, he's um, considers himself extremely manly, mm. and I. Um, it was a lot of fun writing his dialogue. Um, he's he's very heartwarming because yeah. he's yeah. so obviously sh- <laughs> like a, a fake facade. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but he, he he opens up like really confidently with some mm. great lines. Like it's clear, it's I see it clear as wax. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and other really nice. Uh, mm. yeah, yeah, and uh, and for what? Just to lock eyes with a magnificent Superman <laughs> in the mirror every yeah. morning. <laughs> yeah, there's mm. he has a lot of uh, really nice quotes. The thing about writing characters like this is that I don't wanna, I don't want, I don't want to make stereotypes that. Um, sort of uh, vilify or objectify people in real life or rather uh, or rather I, th- I don't think of my characters as real but I want to respect them as real people so there's no character who is really like considered stupid or uh, like yeah Cartoon Knight is full of weird people but they're all yeah they're, 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 they're all lovable all, they're all lovable at, at their heart they, um, they just do their thing and uh, I guess there are a lot of interpretations you can make about characters if you really wanted, but... Uh, Do we have any unlovable characters? <laughs> this casual man? <laughs> this, this casual man? <laughs> yeah, he's, <laughs> he's, he's, he's just a co- corporate... Um, yeah, well, he does his thing. Like, yeah. he's 100%. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He, so, uh, Mark, is, uh, he appears to be like uh, a, a caricature, or like... Uh, um, Macho oh, oh, man, yeah, like. ma- macho man, but uh, at the same time he's lovable. It's like the the game is trying to say like you you can be uh, all sorts of weird, different kinds of people, but mm. there's nothing really wrong with that. It's just uh, <laughs> that's nice. And uh, this is one of the most amazing backgrounds, the Hank Bump or... We have those, uh, the statues from the characters that actually... Yeah, they're, the they're, they're, uh, they're straight, straight from uh, Space Hank, the, the two mus- muscle men hold- oh, holding yeah, yeah. up the roof like titans and uh, <laughs> they're balancing it like a bodybuilder doing <laughs> and there's... Mustache on the wall. Yeah, there's... Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame mustaches. Yeah, the <laughs> Hall of Fame of the... the Types of, uh, of the, the fine cute one. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> there's the the smart, the fancy, the gent, and the cute. That's a Hitler, I think Hitler a mustache. <laughs> I think there's a sign that says uh, that you need a mustache. Yeah, no mustache, no service, and there's a, a box of emergency yeah. break you breakaway glass uh, <laughs> to a mustache. And the bartender is uh, Manicorn. From yeah, it's Hank another. Bump. One there, of the, there's another some, one of the best. There's hunks. some uh, hunks in the background, from straight yeah. out of uh, the hunk game. I think all the hunks are, are really good. I yeah. rank them uh, strongman, Manicorn. Mark and then the rest. <laughs> <laughs> and the uh, ambience track is also very good in this. Yes, yes. yes. it's amazing. They're just talking about yeah. Oh, yeah. how strong they are and <laughs> how much they drink. drink and, and then a woman enters the bar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Everybody gets hysterical that there's a woman in the bar. <laughs> she tells them off, and, and everyone goes quiet, and then they, yeah. It's, yeah, it's, um, yeah. it's so, happy hour for everyone with a mustache, guys. <laughs> <laughs> but all of this is sadly in Swedish, so yeah, you have, so to, <laughs> have to learn that before. Yeah, like listening. three people we, we <laughs> can get that. We have a lot of uh, Swedish jokes in our games. Just uh, yeah. just yesterday, yeah. I think, our new publisher for Evil Dead 2 gave us a bug <laughs> that... Uh, one of the bosses in Little Deer is speaking Swedish. Yeah, because he's related to the Red Crystal in the first game, who also speaks Swedish when he's angry. Yeah, I think this was um, the uh, Jenny one. 
Mm, the spoken, uh, the bosses actually speak yeah, Swedish yeah. in uh-huh. Oh yeah, that was uh, <coughs> maybe a controversial decision, but I wanted to have the voice acting in Swedish because no one else does it. Right. <laughs> And our publisher think it's a bug. Yeah, because <laughs> it was only recorded in Swedish. <laughs> it turns out that they don't say anything important. It just uh, tells for their attacks. Yeah. Mm. Anyway. Uh, and you beat Mark, who also has a legendary card. Uh, he doesn't have the Mark legendary card, does he? No, no. But, he do, but he does say that... Um, um, he talks about one legendary card that uh, he'd never found, and he suspects that it must be in the hands of the manliest uh, <laughs> specimen on the island. Uh, if you, um, who has that card? I don't think anyone notices this, but it's actually uh, the biggest fan who has it. We'll get to big big nerd character. Oh, we'll and get uh, Mark also shares his secret to a great deck. Like, uh, have as many shirtless men as possible. <laughs> I, th- I think that's how his deck is built. <laughs> yeah, right. there, there's a, I think the deck has, just has a, a lot of hunks and uh, like action stuff. Mm. He also, uh, also, several characters mention how there are people in there who don't have a mustache, but get in anyway because they're like honorary mustache havers. Mm. And um, the gar- um, green... Uh, this is just more stupid trivia, but Green Crystal says that uh, Johnny Bunn, the loafer, usually sneaks in there with a fake mustache. Mm. But at uh, the gate, uh, the bouncer outside the bar says that he will never be fooled by a fake mustache. <laughs> <laughs> and then right after you beat Mark, another person with a fake mustache and oh, yeah, right. uh, the Jenny yeah, yeah. Lemon again. Mm. The, the, with the, she always changed her name with, uh, yeah. uh, with the outfit, so that time she appears as the mysterious hunk. Yeah. <laughs> Which is <laughs> pretty yes, great. It's like this ridiculous uh, fake nose and mustache. Yeah, these the Groucho Marx uh, yeah. glasses and nose. Uh, I didn't re- I didn't realize how how amazing a name that is. The mysterious <laughs> punk. <laughs> it, we put her in the in space hunk too. Yeah. Space hunk too. Mysterious hunks. <laughs> <laughs> This time with ladies. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ladies night. There are already gender uh, fan art of all the hunks made during oh. during the game jam. Oh yeah, we got so much fan art. Yeah, man art. There's, man a, art. there's yeah. a whole folder of man art that comes with the game. It's all really terrible MS Paint quality <laughs> fan art. No, it's amazing. Not all. Uh, most of it. <laughs> But it's it's, it's uh, a genuine. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's yeah, especially the one that's nothing but a zoom in of uh, many corn speedos. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, that's where I uh, thought we should end the uh, Cartoon Nights theme for today. Yep. And Stay tuned for part two. Yeah. Check the uh, next episode for more Card City Nights nonsense. Bye. 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 Did she murder?